Hi guys, welcome to this new lecture where you will learn how to bring in text or any other animation if you want at a certain angle. I'm going to show you a simple useful method. So let's dive in. We start by creating a new composition. We call it 04-title45 and the parameters here 1280 or HDTV 720 and we make it 10 seconds. That's okay. I will start putting the text. I will say motion and then I will duplicate the text control D and say graphics double click on it and write graphics all this you already know good let's put the text over here now the first thing I want to do is to create these small triangles that I have here I will use the polygon tool and click and create you notice or you remember that using the upper row you will have more size using the down arrow you have less size Press space bar and try to bring it in, make it smaller, press space bar, get it here. Then if it is not straight 100%, you need to rotate it. All you have to do is to use a rotation a bit here and it's done. Cool. Not really. Let's double click on it and make it 100% rotate. That's cool. We don't want to use the stroke. We'll put the stroke to zero. We want to use the fill and want a plain fill and the color is there that's fine let's uh, just bring it nearer then i will put the anchor point just in the middle Control alt home then duplicate it Control d then just bring it over here and open the layer i will open the rotation and rotate it at 180 degree that's a half rotation now we have the text and the arrows not bad very well aligned now we have the two lines that we want to put for that i will use the pen tool click and click again somewhere where i want the line to stop let's see we make it long up to here you can do whatever you want is no problem give it a stroke of 12 and of course there is no feel here you can remove it to be neat or just forget about it i will press ctrl alt home to put the anchor point in the middle i press ctrl d to duplicate it now i have drag it down adjust it just over here this is the line for motion so i write line motion mt and I guess this is the line or oh, this is the line for graphics. So I write line graphic GR will do. And this is the shape layer for graphics. So I'll write triangle GR that's triangle for graphic. Come back and this one is the triangle for motion TRMT. So I know exactly what are my layers and what we are doing cool now i want to animate all this the first thing i would do is to animate the motion and the arrows and so on the way to put them together here i take for example the line for graphic the triangle for graphic and the word graphics and click and drag and put them down and now they came all together pretty neat right that's one way to do it be careful because maybe you want to animate the triangle independent of the graphic now you have some order here all of them we're going to animate them through position after one second we want them all in this position i will keyframe the position i will come in the beginning now i decide how i want my motion of course i want motion and triangle to come from this side on the left side and i want the other arrow and the graphics to come from this side of course i'm pressing shift then i want the line of the motion also to come from the side of motion here you are and then i want the line for the graphic this line to come from the side of the graphic cool fine i'm going to select the three of them from outside here and move them a bit more because there will be motion blur later on right guys and i'll move it here let's play our animation we put the work area and to three seconds and the press press bar to play it cool they're coming very nicely but we want them in different order for example let's take the lines and these are gonna come the latest one okay so i'll push them backward so the line will come nice i want the motion and the graphics to come just after the lines i'll move them this way and we want the arrows to come first but not so far from the line okay something like this pretty cool now i have the animation i can put motion blur for it i press ctrl a to select all the layers Twirl them up if you like and then add the motion blur for all of them and enable the motion blur for the whole composition. 
Now we don't want them to come in line like this. That's very beautiful, but really this is not what we want. We want them to come at a certain angle. For that, I will select all the layers and pre-compose. Okay, and say speedy text or 03 dash title. And we say speedy text. Okay, that's nice. Then coming over here, we are going, of course, to trim our composition or crop it. I will use the region of interest and trim the comp as much as I need. Notice I cannot make it bigger than the actual comp that's in. And then you go to composition and say crop comp to region of interest. Now, there is something else I want to do here. When they come and they are all settled, I want the lines to go up. I will take the two lines and press the P. I will keyframe over here, both of them. Then select the first line, I think just a bit less. Come over here and select this line and take it down. And select the other line and take it up. Now we run our animation, they come in. Okay, I will remove the motion blur so we can go faster with it. I will go back to my main comp. Now it's coming in very nicely, but it is straight. You notice the lines will do some effect here, just to demonstrate to you. If I want them on an angle, I want to rotate the composition. Let's give it some degrees here. Let's stop the animation when it stops over here and start rotating it. That's cool enough. Motion will come and graphic will come. Cool. I want the distance here to be equal. Maybe I can move it also. It really doesn't matter. Okay, let's run our animation. Pretty cool. Fine. So after some time, they have settled here. Okay. The lines disappear. I will keyframe the rotation come in time and just inverse the rotation at minus 25 degrees okay the way to get them out now is to use a time remap that's what i would like you can do other things if you want you know several methods but this one is okay i will right click and go to time and say enable time remapping now where is the second keyframe I mean, it's not there, but I know it's moving, it's gonna work or something. Let's undo this one. And what will be the problem, guys? I told you about this, is this composition is very long. So what you're gonna do is to terminate it or finish it just when everything is done. Three seconds will do here. I will right click and say trim comp to work area. And here you are, you have a three second composition. Is it fine? I think it's fine. Everything is moving. Everything is within. Cool. Let's go back to our main composition. And now I have a three seconds. Let's make the work area here to full time. We double click on it. It will open. Now we can use time remap very safely. I will go to time and say enable time remapping. At least I can see the second keyframe. So it comes in and it turns and it comes out. Of course, we have this problem with the last key frame in After Effects. Let's go back. Let's select all our layers here and move them to the outside. That's one solution. There are other solutions also. So we're cool with this. Let's take the turning and put it at four. And then we are just coming in and then it turns. And then after it turns, you can take three, four, five seconds, as long as you want to get it to exit. So in the time remap, I will keyframe and put it back to zero. And here you are. You have your animation very well done. It comes in, the line disappears, the line comes back, and it comes out. Let's give it motion blur and see what happens. We enable the motion blur in the pre-comp, then we come back and enable the motion blur in the main comp. They have to be enabled both. This motion blur enabling it here is just for viewing. If you enable it only on the layer, it will show when you render or create your video. Let's run it now. Let's limit it to eight seconds and run our animation. Here is your animation. I think you should be proud of it. I hope you have worked with me and I've been fast. But the concept here is very easy. It's about rotating the comp with all its layers and not using some other complicated method that you might think are better or more pro. So thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in the next lecture.